Welcome to Apple Insider, everybody. It is Andrew here, and we have the fifth beta of iOS 11.4, alongside the fifth betas of updates of macOS, tvOS, and watchOS. Now, this is the fifth beta, so what really is there changing at this point before this actually gets released? And luckily, not much. The fewer changes means we are getting closer and closer to release. There's one minor change, which is this ridiculous back and forth with the volume icon inside a control center. It was originally broken in iOS 11.4, then it was fixed, then it was half broken, and now it is fixed once more here in the fifth beta. So everyone can rest easy that the volume icon now animates correctly as the volume is adjusted in real time. So that leaves us with two looming questions. One, how is performance? And then two, is this going to be the GM? So let's take a look first at performance. So we run our normal Geekbench test and we compare it to how we've seen in iOS 11.3, as well as all the other betas that we saw for iOS 11.4. And while nothing too exciting has been discerned, we can still see that we have some pretty solid performance. Looking at them and comparing them to what we saw in the past, we still have a really high single core score as well as a decently high multi-core score. Now, they did drop a little bit. So if we go back to maybe back to May 7th when we ran it on the last beta, which saw a huge improvement in performance, we have about 4,200 and 10,300. And you can see we definitely dropped on that multi-core score, but single core is still definitely up there. So no real hits to performance. Then going on to our second question, is this gonna be the GM? This is for sure a sizable update coming in at 2.2 gigs for the iPhone 10. That's something that you don't usually see unless it's going to be the actual GM update before it being released. However, when we jump into settings and we check out something like the actual version number, we still have that A appended to the end. We also have a few additional characters there that we wouldn't normally see if this was the actual GM version. So is it the GM? We're not sure. We still could see one more beta release, but we are very confident this will be released before WWDC actually arrives at the first week of June. So feel free to wildly speculate down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.